The U.S. government has made it clear. The time has come to wean the nation off foreign oil and gas. Gaining energy independence will require developing alternative sources such as wind and solar power. But we also can help by using conventional energy sources found right here at home, including coal. Take, for example, the Prairie State Energy Campus, which Bechtel is designing and building in Southern Illinois for a partnership that includes eight public power agencies, along with Peabody, the world's largest coal company. The plant will be among the cleanest coal power facilities in the country. That's because it will use technology that removes pollutants before they can get into the air. This project's equipped with state-of-the-art air quality control system. It includes a selective catalytic reduction system on the back end of the boiler, dry electrostatic precipitators, a wet absorber tower, and a wet electrostatic precipitator. All this makes this a state-of-the-art unit with the cleanest coal technology available today. To further reduce the environmental impact of the plant and make it even more cost-effective, coal for the turbines will come from a mine being built right next door. The advantages of doing that are, one, there's less impact to the environment in that the coal is transported directly. It doesn't need to be trucked or brought by rail to the power plant site, be brought by conveyors. The other advantage, of course, to that is that the transportation cost is significantly less. Prairie State is the biggest coal plant currently being built in the United States. It consists of two supercritical units with a combined capacity of 1,600 megawatts, enough to provide electricity to some 1.7 million homes across the Midwest. I think the most unique aspect of this plant is the actual size of the plant itself. When you look at the physical commodities that we're putting in here, we're putting in more than half the steel of the Sears Tower, 50 Olympic-sized pools full of concrete, enough cable to reach from here to the Mexican border, and enough pipe to reach from here to Springfield, Illinois. Capping the project, literally, will be the plant's chimney stack, reaching 700 feet into the air over the town of Lively Grove. That's 70 feet higher than the Gateway Arch in St. Louis. When Prairie State goes online, it won't just generate power. It will also provide jobs to boost the local economy and help the nation move forward in its bid for energy independence. Yeah.